God, maybe he'll give it to you. And the theologian will tell you, yes, God gives this grace freely. He gives it to all because he loves all. It's here like the air. All you have to do is receive it. Or a more orthodox, a Catholic Christian would say, all you have to do is to be baptized, to take the holy sacrament of the altar, the bread and wine, the body and blood of Christ, and there is the grace right there. And it's given by these simple physical means so that it's uh, very easily and readily available. Well, a lot of people got baptized. And it doesn't always take. People fall from grace. Why do they? You see, we're just talking about the same old problem. But we've put it a step up. But it's the same problem. How can I improve myself? Was the first problem. The second problem is, do you want grace? Do you want grace? Do you want grace? Grace. They're both the same problem. Because you've got to make a move. Which will put yourself out of your own control. Into the control of a better. If you don't believe in the Christian kind of a God, you can believe in the Hindu kind of a God. Who is your inner self. You see, you've got a lower self, which you can call your ego. That's that little scoundrelous fellow. He's always out for me. But behind the ego, there is the Atman, the inner self, the inward light, as Quakers would call it, the real self, the spirit, which is substantially identical with God. So you've got to meditate in such a way that you identify with your higher self. Now, how do you do that? Well, you start by watching all your thoughts very carefully, watching your feelings, watching your emotions, so that you begin to build up a sense of separation between the watcher and what is watched. Do you want grace? grace by my own. 